I don't get excited about cameras. And I'm not getting a check to say, Zach, please come up here and say stuff about it. I'm coming up here because I got the honor to come up and talk about it. It's an honor for me that Fuji even noticed who I was. And it's an honor for me that Fuji said, you are really, really brutally honest about a camera that we've made that's a new part of a new series. You were brutally honest about it, because I talked about everything I didn't like about this camera. But I talk about how this camera is something. This camera is unlike any other camera. Um, and now I want the black one, special edition. <laughs> I should ask my wife. Um, and it's, it's just being honest about it and going out and using it and making pictures from my kids to strangers on the streets to people stuck on devices is, is just, it's, it's just, you put it out there, you get excited about it. So that is my presentation. Um, we got a little time for question and answer and then we're going to give away the X10, the awesome little point and shoot. I bought one of those for my wife. Um, and then we're going to give away an X100 tonight as well. And in addition to that, if you're wondering what this thing is right here, this is a Black Rapid Snap R strap. And this is essential accessory. Like, buy this camera, buy this strap. All right? And it can just hang right here at your side. And it's just, you can be like Clint Eastwood. <laughs> and I have it now that I have this and an X100. I got two of them, and they have this coupler thing. So you wear it almost like a backpack. And it's the X100 right here and the X Pro right here. And <laughs> it's amazing. So let's take some questions real quick. We can bring house lights up a little bit. I had such high, my expectations for the camera were this is going to be the DSLR killer. I just, I had the super high expectation, got it out of the box, went, oh, it's not going to kill the DSLR. Oh, I'm all disappointed and upset now and I don't want to play. I'm like, no, 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 let me clear my thoughts and go at it. Um, the Q menu, there's this little button right here called the Q button and it pulls up this quick menu. So it's like, boom, change white balance, change ISO and auto ISO. You know how the X100, you have to go into one menu to go into auto ISO settings and another menu to go into ISO settings? Brilliant. Um, they've got that fixed. Um, the menus are faster. Um, now, you know, the one thing I do have to keep in mind right now is mine says where there should be a serial number, it says sample. <laughs> you know? And I'm at for version like point nothing firmware. Um, but this out of the box is already like faster, snappier, speedier than the X100. Yeah. Other questions? Quality of the image is amazing. I just, I can't believe it. Better. No, not double. You're going from 12 megapixels to 16 megapixels. So that's just kind of a, like a bit of a bump. Um, I have shot some fabric looking for Moe to see if that AA filter thing actually works. You know, getting rid of it and the bare something pattern, I don't know. I, pff, he could tell you. Um, they changed the bare pattern of the chip and I'm not getting any Moe. And I've shot some very fine detailed fabrics with patterns and I'm not seeing it. And it's sharp. But I mean, in terms of dynamic range and stuff like that? Dynamic range is great. Just, it's, it's X100 and a little bit better. Yes. Yeah. Um, I've got an X100 and I really enjoy it and I shoot every day. Just the question is, um, with the X100, they advertise it that this, the, the lens just fit the sensor perfectly. So the sensor is just made for the lens. And right. then you get the X1 Pro with three different lenses and same sensor. Um, you tried both of them. What do you think? The, the personal thing is, what I love about the Fuji X100 is it's one lens bolted on there, it's not moving, and you have no options. And you have to make it happen with that one lens, one focal length. I'm a, my, I don't have a single zoom in my DSLR bag, um, so I'm a prime shooter anyways. With this, with the three lenses, the one issue I come is a mental issue more than a camera issue of Wait, which lens do I want? Do I want to run around the market with the 18 or the 35 or the 60 or the, you know, what I want is two 
and have one lens on this and one on the other. So, I, but what I have found is with the lenses, lens quality, I'm not finding like a degradation of image quality at all. And I, I in my personal opinion, the 3514 will be the hot lens to have. <sighs> yeah. Uh, sir, thanks for your uh, description. I want to ask about the um, use of the camera, and even like you know sports and you know uh, things stuff. You see, there are um, kind of stuff like the uh, players, you know, play basketball, and you know, watching stuff. It's not a sports camera, you know. I mean, a DSLR no, can is. Can we use it or not? You could. I mean, if you go back and look at sports photography from any time before the early 90s, it was all manual focus. Yeah, I know. You know? Um, I, if, if I had a DSLR or this and I was going to a basketball game to shoot basketball pictures, I would take my DSLR. This is not going to be that fast of a focus. So, yeah. So, DSLR is still going to rule, you know, anything fast. Yes, sir. Um, how is the manual focus in the X-Pro 1? <clears throat> how is the manual focus in the X-Pro 1? I'll just repeat the... I don't know. It's fun watching you run back and forth. <laughs> um, how is the manual focus? It has gotten much better. On my blog, I stated that whoever developed the manual focus for the X100 did not get employee of the month parking spot. Um, and sorry for... You please, you know, extend my apologies to whoever I've <laughs> upset with that one. But um, it has gotten a lot better. Now, I wish they were geared, just straight up geared lens. It's still focused by wire. Um, but the range is not that much, I guess. No, it's, it's much better. It's not, hold on. <laughs> we're getting there. Now, with the new firmware update, they did improve the X100. It was only 8 million rev revolutions instead of 16. But I have noticed that this is. Now, one statement is me as a photographer. I never manually focus my cannons. I just, I, is it? Uh, and I don't manually focus this one either. The only one I focus manually is the face. Because you want to talk about bad autofocus. It's shaky. All right, a few more questions, and we're going to give away some prizes. Yes. Fantastic. I mean, it's just solid as a rock. Um, oh, yeah, sorry. How is the build quality? It's fantastic. It's solid as a rock. Um, it's, it's, it's great. It's all metal. It just it feels solid. The X100 feels solid. This one's got, this one's a little bit bigger, a little bigger in the hand, um, but not by much. I'm excited to see the little, they're gonna make this little accessory to give a little extra hand grip right here. I think I'll probably like that a bit. Um, but no, it's, it's just, it's a solid little camera. I'm, I'm not worried. And the lenses, the lenses that, what I'm excited most about the build quality are these lenses. It's all metal, there's no plastic, and it's just on there nice and solid. And the lenses come with lens hoods this time, instead of paying that extra 150 bucks. Yes, sir? Tell us about the viewfinder. Do I understand it's optical and? It is optical, and the, the viewfinder is optical and electronic. It's the same kind of hybrid. And what I was most interested about was, well, how are you gonna deal with this with like multiple focal lengths? So you put the 18 millimeter lens on there and this little window pops down and you have 18 millimeter view and you see your little framing lines and all of that. And when you start in your optical viewfinder, you start close focusing, you'll see the, the lines shift for parallax. Then when you put the 35 on, there's a little magnifying window that pops up. It's really brilliant. And then you see your 35 millimeter. Now, in optical viewfinder, you put the 60 on, suddenly you have this little square. And what I'm finding with the 60 is I just go straight to electronic viewfinder. Because, you know, they don't have the third magnifier to pop up kind of thing. So I just go to electronic viewfinder, and it's very, very similar to what you'd find in the X100. If you shot with the X100, as soon as you get this, 
The only difference is um, instead of clicking down, you click up to switch between the two. Ah, that's, that's the, oh, really? The X100 is a leaf shutter. That's why it's so silent and quiet. Um, and I've, I can sync with it up to like a thousandth of a second with flash. This is focal plane shutter, so we're back down to, I think officially it's what, 160th of a second? Because it's focal plane shutter. But if you think about it, that's, these lenses are gonna be expensive. They're about 600 bucks US each. If they were leaf shutter lenses, they'd probably be $1,200 each, you know? So at some point, there's probably diminishing returns on, and they'd probably have to, you know, change design and things like that. So yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I mean, you might with, uh, I haven't tried it, you know. If, if I'm getting into something that technical, I'm off to really the phase. With my phase, I can sync at 1600th of a second. This is 800. What's that? 800. 800th of a second? Yeah. I think sync speed, though, with flash is 160th with the new X Pro, right? More money. <laughs> I don't know, sorry. Yeah. All right, two more questions and we're going to give away sorry. cameras. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, um, with the X100 you have on your iPhone, there's an underwater feature. Will Fuji bring out an underwater case before the X100? Uh, we have no plan so far to launch uh, the waterproof case. Ziploc bag. <laughs> You're good. You know, it, honestly, I saw that. And like, do, do, do the engineers, is there like an aquarium in the lobby <laughs> that they wanted to take pictures from? Because I like, why would you put that, oh, wait, why would you put that on there? Yeah, one more. Anyone? Yes, sir, up there in the back. <coughs> video quality. Um, I haven't really played with the video quality with this, so I can't honestly say, oh, it's amazing, and Vincent Laferre bought 10 of them. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure. I have turned it on, and oh, okay, look at that. You can put it in manual focus, um, but I, I honestly can't tell you. And I've shot maybe all of 10 seconds of video on my X100. I shot it, oh, okay, video works, all right, and I've never shot video again on it, so I don't know. I, I'm not a video guy, so it's the last thing I check. All right, so I'm going to go get this little magic box over here that has numbers in it. Okay, so now I have uh, the list for the registration today. So Zach doesn't have this list. So Zach, you can you know, pick up uh, two, one for X10 right. and uh, one for X100. Balaz <laughs> Hazi. <laughs> Then, Filomena Nunes. Filomena Nunes. Yay! Congratulations! Congratulations! There you are. So you can be like a Zach. You gotta learn how to use it. It's just go read my blog. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for y'all hanging out and uh, staying with me a little late. I'm a little long-winded. I'm sorry about that. I'm American. I talk. All right. Y'all have a good night. Thank you.